Ranking the top 22 ratings in FIFA 22. This could be interesting. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u 7 buycom and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell, we are here with a tier list video on the top 22 ratings that have been dropped for FIFA 22. Obviously the top 22 rated gold base cards not including icons etc. Before we get into the rest of the video though I do want to say I'm not feeling the greatest so if my energy is not the same or if I sound a little bit different it's because I am not feeling the greatest which I do apologize about but obviously can't really help. And also sorry about the lack of uploads recently I just kind of been chilling and getting ready you know recharging for FIFA 22 where the grind is going to start again. If you guys are new around here and you want to see a load of FIFA 22 content make sure you hit that subscribe button that would be greatly appreciated and also make sure you interact with this video let me know what you think about these ratings in the comments down below and smash the like button if you enjoy it. Anyways, back onto the video. Today, we are going to be dropping a tier list on these top 22 ratings. Obviously, there's been a load more ratings that have been dropping out as well. If you guys want to find them out, you can on Twitter. They're just rolling out. The more the day goes on, the more we'll see, the more the week goes on. We'll probably have the majority of the ratings that are the big ratings at least. But today, we are solely focusing on the top 22 ratings that have been dropped. I'll go ahead and show you the actual top 22 before we get into the tier list. But let's actually walk through the sections of today's tier list. Section number one right at the top is going to be accurate. This is obviously going to be for players that I do believe should be that rating. Then we're going to have under that is going to be overrated. So players that probably shouldn't be that rating realistically in my personal opinion. Obviously this is all down to my opinion and I want you guys to let me know your opinion in the comments as well whether you agree or disagree. Then we're going to have underrated players that probably should have had a bit of a bigger upgrade and didn't actually get that. And then the final section we're going to have is questionable this is just for a section where we just think well like, should they be that high or that low it's a little bit hard to judge and that is a section i definitely want you guys to get involved in in the comments so let me know what you think about the questionable options we're going to put in that section so like i said before we get into the tier list let me go and run you through the top 22 players on next year's game. So sitting at 93 rating is Messi. Then we've got 92 rated Lewandowski. Then the 91s we've got are Ronaldo, De Bruyne, Mbappe, Neymar and Oblak. And then down to 90 we've got Kane, Kante, Neuer, to Stegen. And then the final page is full of 89s. We've got Salah, Donnarumma, Benzema, Van Dijk, Kimmich, Son, Courtois, Casemiro, Edison and Mane. So they are the top 22. Now it's time to switch over to this tier list and... Let's figure out where we're going to put each of these players. Okay, so here we are now on the tier list page. We've got all the 22 players down below and also the tier list sections. So let's get into rating these. We're just going to go in the order that they're there at the bottom. Basically, they're not in rating order, I don't think. So let's go through them and let's figure out who should be where. Okay, so on to Edison first. I said that's pretty accurate for Edison. 89 is not bad at all. I mean, won the league. Solid goalkeeper for City. So 89, yeah, I can live with that. I think that's decent. Next up, we've got 92, Lewon Dolsky. I think I, I agree with his rating in a way. Maybe a 91, I probably would have put him as, but 92 is not too bad. I mean, the guy scored, what, 40 odd goals last season. It's more to me about a player that's been lower rated than him. That should be at least the same rating. But we'll get into that in a minute. But Lewandowski, for me, I'd say that's pretty accurate. He's probably one of the best strikers, if not the best striker in the world right now. Next in line, we've got Benzema. I'd actually probably say Benzema could have been a 90 rated. Uh, I, maybe not. Maybe not 89 is right for Benzema, but I feel like the guy is very good. Like I, I feel like he's criminally underrated a lot of the time. So I'm actually going to throw him in the underrated and I feel like they could have given him a 90 rating. I don't know. Maybe you guys disagree, but I feel like he definitely could have been there. Next up in line is Casemiro. Uh, I don't really watch much of this guy. I don't know too much about him. Obviously, I've seen him play for Madrid occasionally, and I'm not too sure how good of a season he had last year. So I'm going to put him in probably accurate. From what you hear, he's one of the best CDMs in the game. So yeah, 89 is probably about fair. Next up is Mr. N'Golo Kante. I might put this in questionable because I don't know. I, this one's a debate for me. I feel like 90 ratings is like definitely like minimum he should be in my opinion. But I feel like he could have been even higher. I feel like he could have been a 91 rating. Like this guy I rate so highly. So it's, it's in the questionable section for me because I just don't know. I want you guys to let me know what you think. But I just don't personally know. Next up, Kevin De Bruyne. 
I'd say accurate. 91 rating is pretty accurate. He's had a fair few injuries recently, and obviously he's one of the best, if not the best, midfielder in the world. So, yeah, I'd say that's fairly accurate. 91 rating. Next up is Shung Min Son, 89. I'm going to put him in the questionable one again. This time, not for the same reason as Kante. I feel like 89 is definitely probably the top rating he should be. But did he really deserve a plus two? I'm not too sure. Obviously, he's getting five-star skills as well. I'm pretty sure that's what has been confirmed. Like, five-star skills on the card as well. And 89 rating... Pretty mad. But like I said, all the questionable ones, you guys can let me know your thoughts below. Next up, Dono Rumor. I'm going to chuck him in there. I'm going to chuck him in overrated for 89. I don't think this guy should be 89. I, I don't know. 80, what was he? 85 last year. So he's had a plus four. I know he won the Euros. Obviously now switched to PSG. I just realized as well, his badges at AC Milan. I don't know why, but it is. But recently moved to PSG. I don't even think he's starting ahead of Navas. And I feel like they gave him a very, very nice upgrade. I don't feel like he should be that high rated though. But maybe you guys disagree. I mean, I definitely think he has the potential to be that rating. I mean, he's still fairly young. Even He could be even higher rated than that in the future. The guy is very good. But 89 at this stage of his career, I think is a little bit too steep. Just for me. Next up is Virgil van Dijk. I'd say pretty accurate. Obviously, he was injured pretty much the whole of last season. He's had a, what, a minus two downgrade. I think he's actually had a pace increase as well, which is nice to see. But 89 rating's not bad. I don't think, I think like that's fair. Maybe a 90 rated. Maybe it's a bit underrated. Maybe he shouldn't have had a minus two. But 89 is still a very solid rating to have. Next up is Courtois. Um, I'm going to check him in accurate once again. Don't really know enough about what he did last season, to be honest. I mean, I, I know Madrid didn't do too bad. I know they didn't win the league, though. So should he be 89 rated? I'm not sure. Maybe you put him in questionable, actually. Yeah, you know what? We'll drag him in questionable because I just really don't actually know. So I don't want to put him accurate in case it's not actually that accurate. All right, next in the list, Salah. That's not even a debate. Underrated. What in the world were EA thinking of da like downgrading this guy? Like, why has Salah gone from a 90 to an 89? Literally, he should have gone the other way. He should have gone from a 90 to a 91, but they've gone... 90 to 89. Like, what is going on seriously here? I don't know who is in charge of these ratings, but honestly, they need help. They, they actually genuinely need help. Like, how are you going to actually downgrade Salah? Next up is my boy, Cristiano Ronaldo. Come on, come on. Underrated. What's going on? This is the one I was on about when I was talking about Lewandowski earlier. 91 Ronaldo. Like, Ronaldo should be the same rating as Lewandowski for me. Also, I don't think Messi should have a plus two on Ronaldo. Probably not even any difference in rating. Maybe they should all be 92s. But the fact that Ronaldo is 91. Nah, I don't agree with that. Maybe you guys agree, but I just don't agree. Next up is Mr. Kimmich. I'm going to put in accurate. The guy's solid. Such a good CDM for his age. Like, the guy is actually a baller. Definitely accurate. He could have been possibly higher, but I feel like 89 is definitely a fair rating for him. Mane, coming up next, overrated. The guy literally had a shambolic season last year. I don't know how he is still at 89. I'm sure even Liverpool fans would agree. How the hell Mane and Salah are at the same rating is ridiculous. Like, genuinely ridiculous. I feel like Mane should have been like an 87 to 88 at tops. But 89? No. I'm not having that. that. He should not be an 89 rated base card this year, in my opinion. Maybe you guys do disagree, but but going off last season, he does not deserve 89. That's just my thoughts. Up next to Stegen. Uh, accurate, I guess, once again. I didn't watch enough of Barcelona in the last year. Don't know how exactly they did, but Stegen's a pretty solid keeper from what you hear. So in terms of keepers in other leagues, it's a little bit hard for me to judge, but... We'll chuck him in accurate. On to the cover star, the 91 rated, same rating as Cristiano Ronaldo. Kylian Mbappe, overrated. I, I just don't think he's 91 rated. Like 90, you could have kept him out. I would have been fine with that. But giving him a plus one. Like, how are you going to say he's two ratings above Mohamed Salah? I don't even know. Salah is definitely better than him right now, or like 100%. And that's coming from a Man United fan. That is coming from a Manchester United fan that hates Liverpool. And I am saying Salah is better than Mbappe right now. That, that is just facts. So you either make them the same rating of 89, or keep Salah at 90, keep Mbappe at 90. Still, probably Mbappe shouldn't be the same rating, but that would have been fairer. But yeah, considering Salah's 89 rated, Mbappe is 100% overrated for me this year. Next up, we are looking at Mr. Manuel Neuer. Uh, accurate once again. We're not going to be able to see all the accuracy in a minute if we keep going at this rate. I mean, Neuer, pretty good keeper, let's be honest. Once again, it's a keeper, though. I don't, I don't know too much about how he did in the Bundesliga, but from what you hear of Neuer, it's all good. Next on the list is Harry Kane. You know what? I'm actually going to put him in underrated. Because if you're going to put Lewandowski at 92, right? I know Kane didn't score as many, but Kane got the most goals and assists last year. And I'm just basing this judgment off Lewandowski's rating. And 92, is, is Lewandowski really two ratings above Harry Kane? I don't think he is. I think Kane should probably actually be a 91. And then Ronaldo should be 92 and Lewandowski should be 91. That's probably my feeling. Oh, 92 Lewandowski, 92 Ronaldo. But I don't think Kane and Lewandowski are two ratings apart, in my opinion. Both very good strikers. And Kane, 
for a 91, I'd probably say. Next on the list, we've got another accurate, and you literally can't see them now, but or black. More than league last year, I definitely know that. So he must have had a solid season. No need for a downgrade. And everyone always says this guy's a very good keeper. So he's going up in the accurate list. Then down to three, we have got Mr. Neymar Zito. Um, once again, in the accurate. Hang on, give me a second. Let me actually move myself to the bottom right. That probably would have made a bit more sense. There we go. Now we can actually see it. So Neymar in accurate. I'd say 91. Like the guy's obviously got incredible talent. He's one of the best players in the world. 91's probably about fair. Maybe, maybe you might downgrade. I don't think you would downgrade him. 91 is probably just about right for Neymar. Now on to the last two. We have got Allison in here. Accurate, I'd say. A minus one downgrade. Not as good of a season as last season. I don't know if he made that many mistakes, but I can see why he's been downgraded by one. 89 is still a very solid rating for a keeper. Can we just point out that it's still very solid. And to put him as the same rating as Edison, I think makes sense. And then the final one, Mr. Lionel Messi. Just going off other ratings. Overrated. Uh, you know, this might be a bit of bias to you here. Obviously, Ronaldo is my favorite player. But if you're going to make Ronaldo 91 and Messi 93, there's no way they're two ratings apart. There's literally no way. If Messi was 92, I'd understand it a bit more. I still think they should be the same rating. But 93 to 91, personally, I'm not having it, all right? I know PSG are affiliated to EA, and that's why he's 93. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Ronaldo was literally the top goal scorer in the Serie A last year, and he's been downgraded. Doesn't make sense, but... There we go. So going back through the list again in accurate, we do have Edison, Lewandowski, Casemiro, De Bruyne, Van Dijk, Kimmich, Testegen, Neuer, Oblak, Neymar, and Allison. In overrated, we have Donnarumma, Mane, Mbappe, and Messi. In underrated, we have Benzema, Salah, Ronaldo, and Kane. And in questionable, and then in questionable, we have Kante, Son, and Courtois. So there we go then. That wraps up my tier list for the top 22 ratings for FIFA 22. Like I've been saying throughout the whole of the video, I really want to see your guys' input and thoughts on these ratings and what you think about my ranking list. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know the ones you disagree with especially and I want to see why. Give me an explanation why you think I'm wrong. Maybe you think I'm being a bit biased in terms of at least Ronaldo, I guess. That's the only one I can really be biased to because he's the only United player on the list. And also, let me know any other players that you feel like should have made it onto this list. So it should be in these rating levels. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.